I'm Jason Calder with the City of Baytown and we're bringing you something new that will provide more information about what's happening in Baytown. I guess you could call it a breakdown of what's happening in Baytown. Actually, that has a nice ring to it, doesn't it Lloyd? What do you think? Well, actually, let's go with it. It's time for the breakdown. So the hope for the Baytown Breakdown is to be able to provide you important updates and other information on projects on a regular basis. Plus, we'll have a little fun along the way, maybe even a few interviews. So let's get to our first topic, the San Jacinto Marketplace. A lot of you are asking about this project and want to know more about the stores that will be coming to Baytown. Right now we can tell you it's going to be a 450,000 square foot retail dining and entertainment option. And if you've been along Garth Road, and I know you have, you've seen the progress as construction crews continue demolishing what used to be San Jacinto Mall. They've taken down the majority of it and the debris piles here that will be removed by the end of the year. And then infrastructure work will begin and that's expected around March. So which stores do you want to see in Baytown? Comment on this video below and tell us. Now to a fun topic as some pretty cool bands could be taking the stage come July 3rd and 4th. So one of the coolest events we have here in Baytown is the uh, July 4th July 3rd and 4th, you know, concert series and whatnot. Um, we did something a little bit different this year to get the word out and try to get some people interested in the uh, in the uh, picking of the bands process. Yeah, we, we, we worked with Sabrina and the um, Baytown Engage team, and uh, we worked with our contractor, TSE, to get a list of available talent and uh, put it out. And uh, we left it open for one week, and we had over 3,000 responses. Uh, we had a, a clear-cut front runner and a number two, and, and now we are taking that list and trying to really hammer out details and make sure that the requirements are met from uh, stage size, production, everything like that, and we're going to work from the top and just keep working down until we get an artist. Look for those bands to be announced in the coming weeks. Alright, let's talk some trash. Feels good to get out of this thing. Well, we're talking about trash services. We see the city of Baytown is actually switching from waste management to best trash. So what does that mean for you? Well, I'm glad you asked. Basically, it means you'll have a separate trash bin and recycling bin from best trash. In addition to these bins, you'll still be able to put trash bags out. Now, these bins are arriving in Baytown as we speak and will be delivered in early November. Best trash will begin service December 1st. Now, don't use these bins until then or your neighborhood's going to kind of smell. So what do you need to do with your waste management recycling bin? Continue to use it until November 29th. After that, leave the empty bin at your curb for pickup. That's it. Now a small portion of the community will be changing track recycling pickup days. Look for updates from the city in the coming days. And all right, that done, we're doing good. Just sit back and relax. Wait, Lloyd, you're still recording? I thought we were done. Ah, all right, guess not. Well, while I've got you here, let me tell you about the Baytown Voice and the latest issue we got. You should have received one in your mailbox. If not, come by City Hall. In this magazine, you'll find everything from the city's 75th anniversary to city project updates and even a Parks and Recs guide. So you've got to check it out. Okay, now I think we're done. So thanks for joining us for the first episode of the Baytown Breakdown. Until next time, we'll see you then. Hey, come check out my magazine. <laughs>